This is the land in question, 3,000 acres of northern Virginia countryside, 35 miles west of the nation's capital. This is the project in question set to occupy it, a 100-acre historical theme park surrounded by 1,200 acres of public land to include commercial and real estate development known as Disney's America. The historical significance of this region and its proximity to Washington, D.C., make this the perfect home for Disney's America. But the growing number of people who don't think it's the perfect home has forced Congress into the act, with a Senate subcommittee deciding to hold a hearing today on the project's potential impact on a nearby battlefield park and other historical sites. Rommel and two other Disney executives set to testify have gotten a boost from the business community, who spent the day yesterday lobbying lawmakers on their behalf. The Disney's America site is over four miles west of the National Battlefield Park, and there's the, nothing significant occurred on that property. And but others feel much the way several historians do, who are set to testify today as well. Disney is an affront to everyone concerned about social disintegration of the city, about protection of the rural landscape, about stopping suburban sprawl, and about protecting our natural and cultural heritage. Congress really has no role in all this, except perhaps to provide a national forum for debate. What Disney will need to proceed are literally dozens of local, state, and federal agency permits and approvals, and getting them will still be no easy task. I'm Mary Miller in Washington.